Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful large lacy earrings with faceted crystals inside. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials Link to my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips. Also some links where you could buy supplies from if you're interested and I earn a small commission when you buy stuff from there. And uh, you will also find all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Thank you so much for your attention and time and being with me and now guys I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of Tenno seed beads. Here I use 8 millimeter round faceted crystals in this brownish color. Here I use earring findings. These are in old gold color. Uh, and I'm using here the fire line and the beading needles from the beginner's kit of beading school by Erica Sandor and I will link down there in description. This is fire line that is uh, 0 0.005 inches or 0 0.12 millimeters. These are size 11 beading needles. Of course you could use size 10 beading needles or size 12 beading needles and the 0.15 fire line. I don't recommend using monofilament because the tension will be too much. And uh, here I use regular scissors. Okay, so you could see the links to those stuff down there in description. And now guys, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I'm going to do in my next step is pick up one of those beautiful 8mm round faceted crystals and I want to go through it just like this, sliding it down. Then I'm going to pick up 8 of these beautiful tenos. Okay, and I have my 8 here. And I will go around through this crystal just like this. Then guys, what I'm going to do is pick up 8 more beads. Okay, again I have 8 beads. And I'm going back through this crystal one more time. Still holding my tail thread, you see. Then what I do next is that I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, I'm going through all of the 8 beads. I'm sticking my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and I pull and then I will make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. And in my next step, I will go again through this crystal here. Then I will go one more time through all of those eight beads in this direction. And I'm going to pick up one bead here at the hole of my bead I'm putting this one and then I go through all of those beads in this direction. Okay and now guys I'm going to start my next row and it will be really easy. I'm taking one seed bead, I'm exiting 
out of one seed bead and I'm going back in circle through the same bead that I'm exiting out of, making here a loop of beads. Okay, then I'm doing this again, going through the following seed bead, taking just one, going back through this, and if you can also go through the following seed bead just to save time, take one. Go back in circle through this and also through the following. I will show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I'll finish my row the same way and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue this here, I'm adding almost the last bit from this row. And here is the last one. I'm adding it like this. And then I will go back here through this bit. Okay. Now I have this. I'm exiting out of this one and I will flip my work. And here, guys, what I'm going to do is an easy thing. I'm taking one bit. And I go through two beads. One light bead, go through two dark red beads. One light bead, go through two dark red beads. Okay, I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row. Okay, okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row. Again, I'm going through two like I did before. Now I want to exit through one of those lighter beads and I'm going to pick up five beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going through the following light bead. Then I'm going to pick up five more. Okay, five. Go through the following. Then again, go here through the next one. And I will continue doing this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And what I'm going to do next is go here through three beads, just like this. Now I'm exiting through the central of my five beads that I added here. I have two here, two here, and this is the central one. And here, guys, I'm going to pick up three of these beautiful red beads and I'm going back in circle just like this. Then what I do is that I go here through three beads in this direction. And through just one bead in that direction. Okay, go like this one bead after the angle. And I'm taking just one seed bead of this beautiful dark red color and I'm going back in circle through those beads. Okay, this is what I do here. Then I'm going one, two, three beads again. Three beads in this direction after this angle bead. And here is where I'm adding three. Okay, I have my three here. Three beads. And I'm going back in circle through this angle bead. Okay, I have this. Then again, I'm going here through those beads and through the bead at the angle, at the inner angle. Then I go one, just one bead in this direction. 
here I take one seed bead and I go back in circle through those beads just like this okay then I go three beads away from here and I'm going to pick up three beads okay and I go back in circle then again through those three beads through one bead in this direction then one like this okay and like this then I will go through three beads in this direction okay and here I will add three one three one and I'll finish this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I'm here at the end of this row if you forgot how I'm doing all of this just rewind the video and check the previous steps and you will be able to make it okay I'm showing it one more time three beads here at the top middle bead that's sticking out the most and then one bead to finish this row here okay one bead after the angle like I did before and then I take just one bead and I go back here in circle through this one and through the angle and then again I'm going in this direction just like this and now guys as I'm exiting here what I want to do is go through those three beads here at the top just like that then I want to flip my work in this direction and I want to pick up just one bead and then I go down through this one one bead go through this one And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. It's really easy and really pleasant row. I just go through those three beads at the top and add one more to fill in the angle. Okay, and I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row and what I want to do is exit here at the angle and in you could stop up to here it really looks beautiful but now I will show you how to expand this work even more I'm picking up nine beads okay it's nine and as I'm exiting here at this angle, I'm going here through the following angle. Then I'm going to pick up nine more. Okay, nine. And I'm going here through the following angle. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last nine beads from this row. Okay, I have my nines here. And pay attention where I'm going at my last step. Okay now guys i have this okay guys and now how i will continue i'm showing here 
what I want to do is go through four seed beads. Then what I do is that I skip the bead that's coming up next. And then I go through three seed beads. And when I pull, guys, I'm not going through this middle bit. So when I pull, it forms an angle here. Then I'm going to take two beads. And as I'm exiting here, one bead away from the angle, I'm going here with my needle and these two beads again, one bead away from the angle. Okay, at the same place. Then what I do is that I want to go here uh, and skip the middle bead and one, two, three, four beads away from the angle. So I need to go through two more beads. I skip the middle one and go through three beads. Okay, and this is what I do skip the middle and go through three beads okay i take two okay and go here at the opposite beat one beat away from the angle okay and here i'm one two three four beats away from this angle I skip the one that's on my way and I go through three beads. And when I pull, I have another angle. Okay, then again, I take two beads. And I go at the opposite here, one bead away from the angle. And after that, I'm going through three beads. And as I'm going through three beats, uh, here are, I'm four beats away from the angle. One, two, three, four. Skip the angle and go to three beats. Okay. So now I have this, you see. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm going to show you how I'm doing this one more time. Skipping the one at the angle. And here I'm taking my two beads, my last two beads from this row. And I go here at the same place like I did before. So now I have this. And I'm exiting here at the first, very first angle that I did in the beginning. Okay, you see how it looks. Now here, guys, what I want to take are three light beads. And I'm going back here through this angle. Then I go here in this direction through these three beads and through the these two at the angle okay i'm exiting through these two beads at the angle and i'm going to pick up three beads okay and i go back in circle through these two and then i'm going through four beads and i'm going to take three And I go back. Okay. Then go through three beads. And through the following two. And take three more. Okay, three. And go back through these. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step. 
where I want to add my last three beads from this row. Okay. And now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction. And if you feel your work is soft, you could go reinforce it at the edges and uh, make it stay firmer. Okay, so now what I want to do is exit here from one side of my work. And I want to attach my ear wire. Okay, I'm taking it like this. And I'm going to take one seed bead. Then I'm going to take my ear wire and one more seed bead. So this is what I have now. And I'm going back in circle through this bead at the edge. And now I'm reinforcing. Okay, and after I reinforce my work and I feel everything is uh, nice and tight. Okay, now I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull. Then I might want to repeat this knot several more times, but when I'm ready, I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread. I never cut next to a knot, okay? So now my lacy crystal earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my large lacy earrings with faceted crystals inside are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually two times a week, and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials. Also link to my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips and affiliate links where you could buy supplies from and all my social networks and if you want to support me a link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me